Hello everyone, we're here at the Alpax shop and stuff happening there, there's stuff happening here, there's st stuff happening there. Oh look, look, that's my 3000 GT. That everyone used to see a 3000 GT in my videos and said, oh look, that's your 3000 GT. No, no, this is my 3000 GT. Well, you'll see more of this car later, but today, today is a day for the Mitsubishi. The Mitsubishi is right here, it's doing perfectly fine, and it's ready for battle. Because we took it to the dyno, and look at this. Did you see that? Did you see the dyno sheet? This little car has 201 horsepower. And how much boost was that? Like, that was like 20 pounds? And we did a bunch of pulls in the dyno, and today we're gonna do a bunch more pulls on the on the street, because we're... I want you guys to ride along with me, I want you guys to see this project, because it's pretty cool. If you don't remember the Mitsubishi, this is a 2014 Mitsubishi Mirage with a built engine. It has Yaris with Wiseco pistons and custom powder rods. And basically every bolt has been changed to an ARP thanks to Alien, our builder friend, engine builder, one of the best Mitsubishi builders on the island. He built it all and told me, here you go, uh, take it and try to blow it up. And everyone knows I've I've tried to break it, and I've been trying to break it, and I just can't break it, so... But, besides the built engine, it also has a compound turbo system. Uh, you can see, here is the second turbo. It's uh, the big turbo, and the, it came out of my Genesis. Yeah, you know, the Genesis over there, there when it was a four-cylinder engine with the stock 13T tur turbo. And yeah, we took it out of that car and put it in here. And over there, it has a turbo from that 3000 GT, which is right there. Because I, I did a bolt-on turbo upgrade on my 3000 GT. And I said, well, I guess this probably works here, because 3000 GT has two three-cylinder banks. And then, since the Genesis is a 2-liter from the factory, I figured then that one's probably a bit bigger, so we can probably use that as the second stage. And there's a bunch of videos on YouTube about people doing compound turbos. So but yeah, it's basically a compound turbo three-cylinder mirage. And so the problem that we had after doing the compound turbo setup... Wait, 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 why is this pointing sideways? What the, what's wrong here? It, it, it doesn't want to be straight, so... After doing the compound turbo stuff, uh, we put it on the dyno and it made 135 hor wheel horsepower before the clutch started slipping. And I used it like that for a while and I've made a few videos complaining about the clutch. And since we never found an aftermarket clutch solution, I did something that I saw in a YouTube video about some guy that used a 3-cylinder Mirage in his buggy. His name is Dirt Gear TV. I'll put a link in the description to the video I saw about it. But yeah, we basically did, we did a double diaphragm install. So I bought a clutch kit on eBay that brings the pressure plate and the clutch disc material. So I told my buddies here in the shop that uh, they should take out the springs from one of the pressure plates and put it in the other pressure plate. So we have two pressure plate springs to clamp up on the clutch. And we basically made it a double diaphragm, as uh, the springs are basically a diaphragm. So we just took one out and put it in the other. And that helped it a ton when we figured out that the clutch wouldn't slip anymore. I got way more motivated with the project. Since I saw that, I got motivated and I went to the dyno. And so on the dyno, it made 201 horsepower. That for a tiny three-cylinder, 1.2-liter Mitsubishi engine. I think I think we can take it for a drive. You think we can take it for a drive? Yeah, let's go take it for a drive. This car has an Alpha ECU four channel and with a plug-and-play wiring harness made by RIG Custom Wire. If you want it, if you have a Mirage and you want to do something like this, you want to get a bit more power, you want to turbocharge it. 
or eliminate the mass airflow sensor because this one didn't have one but there's some years that do have it you want to do an engine swap and you want to keep your dash working the alpha ecu is the ecu that you need the power steering works everything from the factory just works you can see it down there it's fully plug and play and let's see how it works you can see you can see the tachometer working and let's get it started and there it started right up with its tiny little 1.2 liter engine that's doing what it can hey look look it has power steering just so you can drive it easy the temperature indicators work the rpms work everything works oh good good and you put your seat belt on okay 201 horsepower 1.2 liters three cylinders this is the competition for the gr corolla isn't it yeah man that's what i want I made this, I made this to take the fight to the Corollas because I saw that Toyota said we want to make a three cylinder turbo. So are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, 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 let's do it. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, you can see it, it's working. So let's give it another pull just because we need to get back to the shop. Look, we just launch it just like just like you would launch any other car oh oh it's angry oh oh it wants to go it wants to go oh look look it's a tesla am i gonna beat the tesla let's see Mitsubishi's burning some rubber. Man, this is an abomination. Like, like, this car feels like it shouldn't be happening. <laughs> you mean that this shouldn't exist? No, 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 this shouldn't exist, man. This, this car, this car is like, a. Uh, well, well, yeah, like... Like you said, like an abom abomination. Uh, yeah, it's an abomination, man. What the hell? It just doesn't feel natural, man. This isn't be supposed to be happening. So, yeah, we took the Mitsubishi for a drive. We burned rubber three times. You can see how I beat that Tesla. The Tesla didn't know, but I beat him. And that's what counts. I beat him. The Mitsubishi is ready to run. I'm only missing to install the AC because it already has power steering. And I need to finish some details about hacking the CAN bus because I want to have two step with miles per hour being engaged and I want to have traction control and all those nice stuff. But by the time this video is out, it should be ready. But yeah, right now the important thing is that we can burn some rubber. And you guys saw it burning rubber and doing pulls. You rode around with me, and you can see that the 200 mi the 200 horsepower are definitely reaching the ground. So let's see, let's see if you see it around. So yeah, thanks everyone. You know that RECUs you can get it with our dealers. The dealer list is down in the description. You can get it anywhere that you are. We have dealers everywhere, so just let them know. If you want to be a dealer, hit, hit us up and uh we'll talk to you and set you up with a few nice ecus we have a wide array of products that you can install and you can get your stuff running just like you want it so you know guys thank you all for watching uh, remember to like and subscribe and uh comment let us know you like stuff like this you want to see more videos let us know we'll do more translations like this thanks to everyone who supports us everyone thanks again and we'll see you later